it is Thrillerathon day one. Um, I am starting out with a little puppy sleeping. It's Saturday morning and it's exhausting to be this cute. Look at this little chicken hawk. Oh my god, I love this dog so much. She's like half sleeping, half awake. I love her. So I've got Libby beside me relaxing, chilling out. And then I've got <clears throat> my coffee. Crucial. I'm being bad at having true coffee, not decaf. When I'm trying to conceive and on the path to IVF and everything, I try to go decaf. So I go decaf all week. But then on the weekends, I splurge and have a cup of coffee, maybe two. And then uh, that's not a thriller. What in the world is happening? Why is this not a thriller? I'm nearly finished down among the sticks and bones. This is the second in uh, Sean and McGuire's series. The first was Every Heart a Doorway. And I love this series so much. And I just found out that, well, the most recent one just came out uh, Beneath the Sugar Sky, I think. And it sounds like we're going to get four more in this series. So if you are a fan of Down Among the Sticks and Bones and all of this whole series, um, this should make you very happy. So I think I've got like uh, 60 pages left, 70 pages left of this, but it reads so fast. So I'm going to finish that this morning, have my coffee with my Libby, and then we'll go and pick out my first thriller book. I forgot to mention that I have also been watching some booktube to see what people are going to be reading for Thrillerathon. Lindsay is going to be reading Final Girls, which I'm so excited about. If you are not already following Lindsay, she's a wondering reader and she's wonderful. Um, yeah, I hope she loved Final Girls because it was one of my favorite thrillers of this past summer. Good luck, Lindsay! I just finished Down Among the Sticks and Bones. It was so good. This is definitely like a five-star read for me. Such a twisted story. If you haven't read the series, and you like twisted stories, I believe also that this is YA. And I, you know me, I don't like YA at all. But I liked this. So now we're going to bring up a cup of coffee for Barry. I'm not going to film that because I don't know what state he's in. He's in bed. Uh, and we're going to pick my next read and it's going to be a thriller. It is time to read a thriller and pick one out. So we've got the Ice Twins as a potential super creepy kid story. I've got the book of you, stalker ask, unraveling Oliver, kind of a marital domestic thriller. Then we've got Karen Slaughter's The Good Daughter, and behind closed doors, I'm actually listening to this on audiobook right now, and I'm enjoying it. There are things about it that I don't like, but I am generally really enjoying it. And then we've got, oh yeah, the sci-fi thriller, Six Wakes. And then last but not least, we've got my cousin Rachel. So there are a lot to choose from. But I think, I think it's time to read Karen Slaughter's The Good Daughter. I am like 60 pages into... The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter, and it does not disappoint. Oh my goodness. There have already been like two major huge events that have happened, and I'm only 60 pages in. This is a 500 page book, and I don't know whether the, it's meant to get slower or not, but it feels like you're out of the gate at full speed. And it doesn't seem like it's going to slow down at all. I'm loving it so much. I really love Karen Slaughter. And um, it's interesting because there's a little blurb on the front from Gillian Flynn that says, I'd follow her anywhere. And you can see that. Like, 
they have such a similar style of writing. Both of them are incredibly gritty. They don't shy away from blood and guts and just um, realness. Like a lot of a lot of um, thrillers can be like soft thrillers. They're disturbing, but not too much. You know, you can you can handle it. This is like these are raw, gritty thrillers, and and both of those writers are so similar in a lot of ways. Obviously, they're very distinct and have their own ways of writing. I've I've read all of Gillian Flynn's stuff, and I'm starting to think that I'm going to have to read all of Karen Slaughter's. I um, you'll see it in a future um haul, but I picked up Triptych by Karen Slaughter, which is the first in the Will Trent series. So it's a first in like a detective series. And yeah, if I like this, I have a feeling I'm going to be reading a lot of Karen Slaughter and there will be more and more Karen Slaughter on my on my uh, book hauls and on my bookshelves. <laughs> of thriller -thon. I have been reading The Good Daughter and I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm about like 160 pages in. So today hasn't been like an insane reading day. I haven't been like plopped on the couch all day reading. I went out for coffee with a dear friend, Anna, who I hadn't seen in ages and ages. She lives um, in Montreal. So that's you know, uh, a couple of hours away from Ottawa. We just don't get to see each other enough. And just life, you know. But uh, it's so nice when you have friends where you see them again and it's just like old times. Like you just feel entirely at ease with that person. It's so, I love those friendships. I'm really blessed to have a few of those, which is really nice. So I went out for coffee with Anna and her little daughter Victoria who is so cute. On the way there and on the way back I've been listening to Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris and it's interesting. I like some of it and I really don't like other parts. I don't feel like the situation is entirely believable. Like she didn't um really proved to me that something like this could happen in reality. I just feel like there are, there's a few holes in the situation, but I'm still not finished. I'm listening to it, so there's like eight parts in this book, and I'm on part six, so we'll see. Is it? Did we skip a day? Did we forget to vlog for a whole day? Oh my goodness, you deserve a treat because you're so smart. It's truly surprising that she's not 700 pounds. There you go. Oh boy. Yep. That's good. So it is day four of Thrillerathon. I totally forgot to vlog yesterday. I was reading. I was reading The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. Still loving it very, very much. I'm, I want to say around halfway through. So that's good. And today I finished Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. And I've got some thoughts. I've got a lot of thoughts. So yeah, I gave this three stars. And it's it's one of those things that I had heard both good and bad things about it. And I felt good and bad things about it. I understand that this book, like you can't put down behind closed doors. It is so riveting. You need to know what happens next and it's doing all of the jobs, you know, that a thriller is typically supposed to be doing. So I appreciated that. Um, I really struggled with believing that it could happen and I never felt like B.A. Paris really sold me on the situation. And I'm not going to give any spoilers because that's just mean, but I didn't believe it I, the whole time. And I would try to stop myself 
from questioning why this scenario was even happening um, so that I could enjoy the storyline because it was so fast paced. But time and time again, I was just like, why, why can't this happen? Why can't that happen? Why, why is this a scenario? Um, yeah, so three stars. I enjoyed it. I'll be passing it along. It'll go into my, it'll go into my unhaul pile, but I did enjoy it. And I will definitely read another B.A. Paris for sure. I want to read the breakdown really badly. I enjoyed her writing, um, but I just wasn't blown away. And the other thing that I found with Behind Closed Doors is that it was pretty much just one storyline and as I'm reading more and more thrillers the common thread that I really enjoy is several storylines happening at once and like the weaving of storylines so that it's not just this one thing happening to a person um, it's several things and there's lots of twists and turns and they're based on other storylines. I just really appreciate that because it means that the author has to come up with uh, several stories and more in-depth characters, very um, layered characters. So I did not find that at all with Behind Closed Doors. But I think if you want a beach read, um, this would be great for a beach read because you there's not a lot of distractions with other storylines and stuff so I uh, yeah I would suggest it as a beach read yeah so I finished that I was listening to it on audiobook um, and now I have moved on to Pray for Silence by Linda Castillo and this is the Kate Burkholder series I listened to the first book called Sworn to Silence um, a couple of months ago now, I think it was November, and I really loved it. And it's so great when you find a detective series that you like. And this is about a cop um, in Amish country, and she is investigating murders, essentially. And I loved Sworn to Silence. I just started listening to Pray for Silence. Pray for Silence? I think so. Anyway, I just started listening to it. And it's already started, like, I'm, I think I'm five minutes into listening to it and there's already uh, someone screaming and there's already been people murdered and hooray! I, so, I'm so disturbing that I'm cheering on the death of people in this book, but I do love a good, creepy thriller that's um, gritty. This is another author who's very gritty, Linda Castillo very very gritty she does not shy away from blood and guts at all so I will keep you updated with that uh, I'm home for lunch and so I think I'm going to read a little bit more of The Good Daughter although I also really want to watch The Daily Show with Trevor Noah are you guys Trevor Noah fans I am such a fan and I've been wanting to listen to born a crime by him for a while but, but sadly my library doesn't carry the audiobook and I just feel like there are some books that you absolutely need to listen to like Tina Fey and in this case Trevor Noah so I'm gonna maybe buy it at some point on audio anyway I might go and listen to him and I'll talk with you soon hey guys so I have been the worst vlogger I haven't vlogged for like the past two days. Yesterday was that book sale that I was telling you guys about. I went, it was madness, madness, quite unorganized sadly. Um, so I couldn't vlog because like it was so huddled together that there was like no opportunity. But I'm going again tonight, I'm hoping, I'm hoping it will be a little quieter so I can vlog it for you, but I got 11 books. Only, I think, six of them were on the list, my 100 list. But, oh my gosh, I have to show you guys. I just got a package from HarperCollins, Canada. I'm so excited! 
So HarperCollins sent me two books, um, Tangerine. They sent me an email asking if I wanted to review it. This is a Patricia Highsmith-esque kind of book that involves two um, women. They were very dear friends and then something happened and it broke their friendship. But I believe this is also a bit of a thriller of sorts or a mystery. You're trying to get to the bottom of it, of what happened to these women. Uh, sorry if you can hear sawing in the background. I live in a construction zone. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I love about this is that it's set in Morocco in the 1950s. And there really aren't a lot of like fast paced thriller kinds of things set in different time periods. And I personally love that idea. Um, this has been optioned for a movie by George Clooney. So it's got to be good. And um, the editor had a little note that like, this is a debut novel. And um, this editor said that this might be the best debut that he's read in years. That's so exciting. So yes, that is number one. The next one I asked for, and I'm so excited. You guys know how much I loved A Head Full of Ghosts, right? By Paul Tremblay. Well, he's coming out with a new one. It's coming out in summer. And it's the cabin at the end of the world. And I'm so excited to dive into this. Paul Tremblay is a horror writer and he's wonderful. Such creepy stories he creates. And this takes place at a cabin. And there's a little kid outside named Wen and uh, just catching like grasshoppers. And suddenly there's this man in, in the driveway and he's friendly and he starts talking to Wen. And then he says, um, what, what is about to happen is not your fault. And so Wen like freaks out, runs into the house to tell um, parents and then they are outside and this man is accompanied by like three other people and they're all saying we need your help to save the world and i think it's going to be some sort of creepy kidnapping kind of book i don't know whether or not they're going to kill them all i'm so excited this sounds so much like the strangers have you ever seen that movie the strangers it just sounds so much like it i'm really really excited to read this book. So that might happen pretty darn soon. Thank you so much to HarperCollins Canada for sending me these. Okay guys, so I just got another package in the mail today. And look at this. So much fun, let's open it. From Penguin Random House Canada found you. That's a little creepy. I'm okay with being stalked by Penguin Random House Canada though. In here. Oh my goodness! What in the world? <gasps> okay, first of all, yes, Reese's peanut butter cups, popcorn. Oh my goodness, what is this? From the desk of Claire McIntosh. <gasps> it's her latest book. Oh wow, oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Oh wow, look at this, this is brand new. It's coming out on March 13th. Let me lie. What in the world is this about even? I don't even know what this is about. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'll tell you what it's about in a second when I figure it out. Okay, so I just looked at the back and apparently this is about uh, a young woman her parents killed themselves at, together i think and left her behind she is now a mother of her own she is her own she is a mother she is not her own mother she's a mother and she's just starting to really question it i guess because she's now in that role and probably can't understand why they would ever just leave her like that. Oh, it sounds really fun. Thank you so much to Penguin Random House Canada. I cannot believe all of this. Holy mackerel, Andy. 
Hey gang, it is day eight, the final day of thriller -a -thon. I'm sorry that I've been such a bad vlogger. As time went on, I just kind of dropped the ball. Uh, work was busy and everything, so yes. So a um, little update about where I'm at in some of my books. So I'm very, very close to finishing um, The Good Daughter by Karen Slaughter. I think I have about 100 pages left, so I'm going to do that today. Today is Saturday. It's going to be a reading and quiet and cozy day. I might clean a little bit, but otherwise my plan is just to be cozy and read. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I am still listening to Pray for Silence by Linda Castillo. I am not enjoying it as much as I enjoyed the um, the um, the first book by her, Sworn to Silence. This just doesn't have as much layering to it, and I'm really disappointed. Um, I'm going to keep going for a little bit and see how I feel if I'm still not feeling it. I, I'm just going to DNF it. There's no point. So that's kind of where I'm at for reading. Hey guys, a little update. I have decided to DNF Pray for Silence. I was not enjoying it. Every time I would listen to it, I'd get frustrated because I didn't find the writing very good. This was not the same as the first book. The first book was layered and I felt um, connected to Kate Burke Holder and I liked her and the stories kind of were interweaving and this one, Pray for Silence, the second book in the series, was really just about um, one case. I expected so much more from this author and I just, she fell flat. She fell flat, I'm moving on. I've decided to download The Japanese Lover um, by Isabel Allende. I've been saying Alonde this whole time. I think it's Isabel Allende. Anyway, um, I've downloaded that. I had actually started listening to that right before thriller -a began. Um, and I was really enjoying it. So I'm so glad to have that back in my life. I'm taking a little break from cleaning. I've got like a whole laundry list of stuff. I've done some, not really everything. Uh, so I'm going to have lunch. Doesn't this look amazing? It's just rye bread with hummus and an avocado. I used a whole avocado. Arugula and baby tomatoes with um, some salt and pepper. Oh my gosh, I'm going to dive in now. And Libby's going to sit here and sleep. Hey guys, so it is nine o'clock and I just finished reading The Good Daughter. I really liked this book. I really, really liked this book. Um, it's different from any thriller I've read. So um, I think it's important to kind of warn people before they start reading this book. This book starts out with a bang. Like there's so much action, so much going on in the first um, you know, 50 something pages that you think the rest of it is going to be just as fast paced. The rest of it slows right down. And this becomes a story about family. It's still a thriller. There's still thriller aspects and there's twists and turns and all of those things. But I've never read a thriller that's made me cry like just sob before and this thriller did that I didn't know that that was possible reading a thriller the characters are complex and I felt like I knew each and every one of them I was rooting for them and oh wow this was great this was a wonderful wonderful thriller and 
I just, I loved it. I loved it. But you do need to know going in that it's not going to be crazy fast paced. This is a thriller that's going to make you feel all of the feels. So if you're up for that, definitely pick up The Good Daughter. <sighs> that's that's a wrap for Thriller-a-thon. I can't believe it's over, but um, I definitely enjoyed it. I hope that Harriet does this again next year because I really enjoyed it. I only really ended up reading two thrillers in the end just because I DNF'd. Um, pray for silence, but I still am really happy with the, that. Like This is over 500 pages, so realistically... I probably could have finished three if I hadn't chosen such a, a beast, but this beast was well worth it. I'm going to go and look and see what other book I should read, and um, I'm going to chill for the rest of the night. I hope that you guys are having a good weekend, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.